This is episode two of Paddle Showdown, a series where we take a look at two paddles at different price points and see if the pricier paddle is worth the cost or if the cheaper one is a better value overall. For this episode, we'll be looking at one of the most popular thermoform paddles on the market right now, the 60 Double Black Diamond 16mm, which retails for $180. And going against it is a newer paddle, the Honolulu Pickleball Company's Sword and Shield J2 paddle, which retails for $145. The reason I wanted to compare these two is because the dimensions for the two are actually identical. The 6-0 paddles have a unique hybrid shape where the top two corners of the paddle flare out to be slightly wider than the rest of the face and taper down. Most hybrid paddles out there like the R1 Pulsar and Valer Mach 1 Forza don't have the taper and are just straight on the sides. The Vatic Flash paddles were the only ones that had this taper, and now the J2 joins those paddles in having that same exact paddle mold. I've compared the Vatic Flash to the 6 double Black Diamond briefly on this channel before, so this time around I did want to see how the J2 compares to the 6 double Black Diamond. Other than the dimensions, the construction of both paddles is the same. Both are Gen 2 thermoform paddles that are made in a hot pressed mold, so they have unibody construction and edge foam in the perimeter of the paddle that's sealed in by a carbon seam. For their surface, they both use Torre carbon fiber. Now that we've covered the paddle specs and construction, we can take a look at how the two paddles play side by side. Let's start with maneuverability, which we define as how quick it is to swing a paddle. As shown earlier, both paddles have the same dimensions, so they feel the same maneuverability wise. The swing weights for both are around the 114 range, which is in between what you get from the traditional elongated paddles and the standard shaped ones. For this category, neither paddle gets the edge as they are both the same. Similarly, for the sweet spot and stability, both of these paddles were nearly identical. I couldn't tell a difference between the two after hitting them side by side. Both do have above average sweet spots compared to Gen 1 paddles because of the foam injected in the edge of the paddle that provides perimeter weighting to expand the available hitting surface. For the stability, I do think both are paddles that do need lead tape to improve. The paddle can twist a bit in the hands when blocking hard shots, but I found that adding lead tape on the sides and throat really helped make the paddle feel more solid by increasing the twist weight. Moving on to the power, this is where we start to see differences between the two. Power is defined by how hard you can hit your shots with a full swing, and side by side, I could tell that I was getting a bit more power with the double black diamond. I could generate a bit more juice on baseline drives with the 6-0 paddle to the point that it was noticeable. As for the pop, this also goes to the double black diamond. The ball dwells on the paddle face less on contact and shoots off quicker compared to the J2, which has a softer, more muted feel. The J2 still has good pop because it is a thermoform paddle, so it still has a stiffer feel than a Gen 1 paddle. I would rank the stiffness in between the Double Black Diamond and R1 Pulsar for thermoform paddles, but I think the difference in pop between the Double Black Diamond and the J2 is the biggest difference there is between the two paddles. For spin and durability, both paddles use Torrey carbon fiber surfaces and produce high amounts of spin. If there is an actual difference in the RPM numbers each can generate, I personally wasn't able to identify it in my play tests. The longevity of the spin I would assume is around the same because of their similar surface and construction process, and for the durability of the overall paddles, this would be the same too. Now with Gen 2 paddles, you won't have issues such as handle snapping, and loose edge guard problems are a lot more rare. However, you will have issues like core crushing and delamination for both the 6-0 and sword and shield paddles as possibilities, and as far as I'm aware, these problems have still been persisting in the market. They generally happen after a few months depending on how often one plays, and for both companies, I haven't heard of anything they've done special to remediate these issues, so durability-wise, I rank both paddles as the same, since they can be prone to the same issues. While the Sword and Shield J2 does have the same dimensions as the 6-0 Double Black Diamond, like the Vatic Flash, it does have its differences where I can't say it's an exact copy of it. The main thing being the less stiff feel and slightly lower power compared to the 6-0. I've had people who regularly use the Double Black Diamond also try it out, and they agree that while the two aren't the same paddle, they are very similar. They had nothing bad to say about the J2, and did think the J2 does have a nice feel to it, and isn't a worse paddle than the 6-0 paddle. Now it's really difficult to say if one paddle is more worth it than the other. I think both are quality pickleball paddles and you would be happy with either choice. 
The difference between the two isn't drastic, but could be enough to sway you to a certain paddle depending on what characteristics you are looking for in your game. If you're looking for a bit more power and pop in that hybrid shape, go for the 6-0. Otherwise, if you want something softer, the J2 could be a better option. Similarly, for the price, the difference is only $35, which isn't as big of a jump as the last episode's comparison. Both paddles do have a 6-month warranty, though 6-0 is more of an established brand, while the Honolulu Pickleball Company is a newer company that many people haven't had as much experience with yet. For this episode, I really can't say I would recommend one over the other because the price difference isn't too drastic and both are very good paddles with their own small unique qualities from each other. The J2 honestly did surprise me and it does come close to being a 6-0 clone, but if you're a long time double black diamond user, you will immediately notice the difference between the two. If you are interested in checking either paddle out, I've linked discount codes here and in the video description below that will get you a discount off your order at checkout from their websites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, wait, wait, wait.